It was past 10 p.m. at the Dayton Airport. Yet hundreds of volunteers from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base and the local community were there to welcome home veterans. These veterans spent the day in Washington, D.C. as part of the Dayton Honor Flight. I mean, I just can't explain the emotion walking through this gate and seeing a thousand people here to greet us on a Saturday night was the most absolute humbling thing that I've been through. Honor Flight takes veterans to our nation's capital to see the memorials dedicated to their service and sacrifice. For veterans like Norbert, Honor Flight is a way to remember veterans of the past and present. I'm here tonight to honor my brother-in-law. His name is Rick Martin, and I have a poster here of him. His whole family is here. He passed away before he was able to go on the honor flight. And in our minds, even though he's in heaven, he's on this flight. One Wright Pat Airman has volunteered six times and says it's important to give these vets the homecoming they deserve. I'd say the reason I keep coming back is it's a different experience every time and it's just amazing to see the faces of the veterans when they're coming down the, the aisle way off the plane. Giving the homecoming to the veterans that they didn't have when they returned from whether it was Vietnam War, World War II, Korean War. Since their first flight in 2005, Honor Flight has taken more than 150,000 veterans to Washington, D.C. Reporting from Dayton, Ohio, I'm A1C Holly Ardern.